Hi everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export compressed SVG files uh, directly from Figma. And we're going to do this by installing a plugin called Tiny Image. So if you haven't already installed it, you can go to the top left, click on the Figma icon in the toolbar. And uh, you just want to search for the term Tiny Image in the search bar. And uh, you'll see Tiny Image Compressor pop right up. Uh, so uh, if, you've, if you haven't actually installed it, you'll see a button that says install over here. Uh, I've already installed it uh, and that's why mine says installed. Uh, but if you haven't installed it, you can just click install and when it says installed, uh, you're ready to go. So once you've installed Tiny Image, click back into your project. And these are the three uh, images that we want to export to SVG. Now the normal way we would do this is by clicking on uh, the export settings in Figma down here. So if I don't have any on that, uh, I would click on the image or the frame, go over to the right hand side and click on export. Uh, and then I would change the export format to SVG. And then if I click on export, uh, that'll export it straight to my desktop or wherever I want it as an SVG. So if I save that, uh, and then open it. Uh, you can see there that Figma's exported it. So that's the original one uh, that we're exporting. So I'll just name that this original. But we want to export a smaller version of that. So the way you can do that is by running Tiny Image. So if you go to right click, go down to plugins, go down to Tiny Image Compressor and click on that. That's going to run the plugin that we just installed. And once, once that loads, you'll see that it'll load in all of the images that contain export settings already. Uh, if the images don't contain export settings, so if, for example, if I remove this export setting of SVG and then refresh in tiny image, uh, you can see that it's saying we don't have any export settings on this particular frame. If I click off that frame and go back to the full list, you'll see that this particular frame has been removed from the list and that's because it doesn't have export settings, uh, whereas these two still have SVG export settings. Uh, so we want to re-add the export setting of SVG so that tiny image can pick it up. So I'll click on export, change that to SVG, click refresh and we can see it's popped back up into the list. Okay, so to export a compressed version, what we have to do is select the layers that we want to export uh, from Tiny Image. So in this case, I'm just going to export the one layer that we just exported using Figma's native export settings. And I'm, I'm going to use this quality slider to uh, determine how much compression or what quality I want the image to be saved out as. So lower quality will result in uh, smaller file sizes, but potentially lower image quality. And uh, all the way up the other end, you'll have larger file sizes, but uh, better image quality. So it's up to you to figure out what that balance should be. In this case, I'm going to make it fairly low quality because these are SVGs and uh, the quality differences compared to something like a JPEG or a PNG uh, is very different. And usually you can get away with pretty aggressive compression in, in SVGs and not really uh, have any detrimental effects on the quality. So I'm going to actually put it down to like 20 and click on compress. Uh, yeah, it's, it's extremely quick. Uh, so in this case, it's just done it instantly. And uh, it's, it's saving it out as this file name here. And that's because I've configured it to use the image dimensions in the file name, which I can show you in a second. So I'll click on save. That's just saved it to my desktop. And you can see there, it's just uh, exactly as you'd expect. So the difference between the two is very, very uh, slight, um, but the file size as you can see here in the summary, uh, the file size has been reduced by 74%. 
and uh, I know that we're dealing with very tiny file sizes. So we started off with 5.6 kilobytes uh, and we've reduced it down to 1.49 kilobytes, 74%. So it's understandable why that doesn't seem like much, but these are very small, uh, simple icons. If you're dealing with uh, SVGs that are much bigger and the original file sizes are much bigger, that 74% increase is going to mean much bigger absolute file size savings uh, for your SVG files uh, from Figma. Okay, so I'm just going to rerun tiny image and the way we can do that more easily because we've already run it through right clicking. Uh, once we've run it once in a page, it'll show up in the right hand side under the plugin uh, column. And you can see here, I've got the little tiny image icon with the milk bottle icon. I'll click on that and that will relaunch the plugin for me uh, immediately. So I don't have to kind of go through the, the few steps of right clicking. This will just do it really quickly from the sidebar. Uh, so this time I'm just going to show you why the file name came out the way that it did. Uh, the reason is if I click on this little settings icon, you can see here that I've got a custom image file name format set up uh, to follow the convention of the layer name and then a hyphen, then the width, then a hyphen, and then the height. So you can see here when I update that, it gives you an example of what that file name is going to look like. Uh, so I could remove all these things here and, uh, and, and just update that. So I'll do that now. I'll just leave it as uh, the name. I can actually just remove that and it'll it'll default to that if I remove it. So I'll click out of that. And this time I want to export all three of my icons. So the way I do that is just by selecting them in the, the list here, just clicking on them to make sure they're all checked. And when they're all checked, uh, you can again pick the quality. Uh, so I could do something like leave the default quality as 20 but maybe for this uh, third icon, I want the quality to be like really low. So I'm just going to make that one five and then the sushi one, uh, for some reason I want it to be 35. Uh, so you can actually override the quality settings per export and any that you don't override with these text boxes uh, will inherit the global compression quality up here. So because we've only got one, with no value over here. You can see on the right, the placeholder uh, is defaulting to whatever the global compression value is for those for those SVGs. So I'll leave that as 20 uh, and then I can click on compress. Again, extremely quick with SVGs in particular, it's just basically instant. Uh, I'll click on save. And this time you'll see that we've saved 64% in total. Uh, which is uh, almost 14 kilobytes and it's showing us here that we've uh, been using different qualities per uh, frame or per SVG because we over, uh, added an override to this one and this one. So that one was at 35, that one was at 5 and that one was at 20. Uh, so you can see that the percentages are, uh, are a little bit off. So because this one was set to 35, uh, the quality might be better, but the file size reduction is also uh, less. But that's okay. We still saved 64%, which is great. And you'll get a zip file if you compress multiple images at the same time. And it just names that by default as whatever the project name is in your Figma. Uh, so we've got tiny image compression, and then that's reflected in the, the page title or the project title. And then just today's date. Uh, so if I double click on the zip file, it'll give me this folder containing all three SVGs. And because I updated the file naming convention, uh, we no longer have the 512 by 512 suffix. It's just the layer name as you'd expect from the native Figma exports for SVGs. Uh, so if I preview those, uh, they all look really, really good. Um, the quality is completely uh, you can't tell that that we've used more aggressive compression on this one. This one was set to quality 5 out of 100. And uh, you, you wouldn't be able to tell that 
that there's any loss, you know, potentially the paths are slightly different, but uh, at a glance, it's, it's very difficult to tell and, and it looks really good. Uh, and that's, that's a, a fairly good summary of how you can compress SVG files directly from Figma uh, using TinyImage. Uh, as I said, this is, this is like a really basic example of just using small icons, um, which, is, which is really handy. But uh, you're going to see huge savings if you're exporting much more complex SVGs like illustrations or um, much bigger sort of images uh, or more detailed paths and things like that. Um, a tiny image is really good at, at doing that. So yeah, if you, if you do need to export uh, SVGs from Figma and you don't want to manually rerun them through some third party service or command line tool or um, website, uh, you can just use the tiny image plugin. And as you've seen here, it just immediately does it directly from uh, Figma and gives you those nice compressed SVGs. Uh, uh, so we'll leave it there. I won't uh, drag it on any longer. I think this is like a really uh, short and sharp use case for using tiny image. And I just wanted to give you all the different ways you could actually use it for uh, compressing SVGs uh, in Figma. So I hope it's been really helpful uh, if you've come looking for a tutorial for this. And uh, until the next time, uh, I hope that you uh, get some benefit from it and can use it in your own projects. So thank you as always for watching and we'll see you soon.